Hi, we are Ela and Philip, and for about 15 days we are exploring three islands of the Galapagos archipelago, Santa Cruz, Isabella and San Cristobal. Our goal is to do it on a budget and get the best out of it, but still see all the wildlife and explore the islands. You will get many low budget tips, find all the costs, the best spots to snorkel and to relax at the most beautiful beaches. In the end of this episode we will show you how much we spend in total, split it by different categories. And you will see that it's possible to visit the Galapagos Islands on a budget. Let's fly to San Cristobal. So we are about to explore San Cristobal today a little. And we try to uh, find some snorkel spots here on the coast, heading uh, west. Let's see what we'll find. Father Ocean, hear my soul. You're the way Over there is the sea turtle. This beach is full of sea turtles and over there directly is one. In this hike you will see a lot of sea lions as well. Since in San Cristobal the colony is the biggest of all the islands. Years I follow just the sun. The next station is Muelle Tejaretas. So we found our snorkeling spot and are just on a viewpoint. And look at that. There's plenty of space to snorkel here. Pretty deep here in the forest of San Cristobal. Uh, let's see if the destination is worth it, but the walk itself is really beautiful and we have not that many tourists. Pretty nice hike, but the beach is very rocky. For me, is this the best uh, free snorkeling spot in Galapagos without doing a tour? And here, located in San Cristobal. Mm -hmm. We finished our travel maps and you will find all the locations, all the information and all the prices in it. And you can find the link in the video description down below. The travel maps are for free. If you want to support us on our journey, you can donate a small amount. So today we made it to La Loberia. La Loberia. <laughs> Another beach at San Cristobal. We walked all the way down Yes. Yes. There is a snorkeling spot here and many turtles so we'll see what we find uh, today we relax a little bit and yeah let's check out the beach It here to La Lobaria and it's a mix of snorkeling spot and surf spot because over there are already big waves but I think we have low tide now so the waves will probably get much bigger and there's the first shark oh.
The hostels have most of the time a kitchen and there you can prepare your own food and this will save you also some bucks. So one of our last sunsets here on the Islas Galapagos and we're chilling here at Playa Man. So in a couple of hours our flight is leaving back to mainland and a perfect time for breaking down the cost of our trip. So the flights were about $695, then $466 for accommodation. So for booking the accommodations we used iGra, which is a cashback platform. For booking you get 4% cashback and when you use the link down below you will also get a startup bonus from $5 and to support us. Exactly. 333 for activities and 262 for fees and charges, $205 for restaurant and $100 for transportation. So did we manage to, to do Galapagos on a budget? We think so, yes, because Galapagos itself is very expensive and yeah, it's an island, so everything has to be brought by plane or boat to here. From our experience, you don't need to do a lot of tours. We just did one in 15 days and we think it was enough because we found a lot of spots where we found a lot of wildlife without doing a tour. Yeah, a tour doesn't necessarily mean that you are guaranteed to see anything, so sometimes you're also lucky on the beaches or on the snorkeling spots. So do we think it's worth the hype? Yes, we definitely do think so, because Galapagos has a lot to offer. It has, for those people who like wildlife, a lot of um, interesting options, but it's also a great uh, location for doing your vacation here. The beaches are amazing and uh, you can always go snorkel and see something we have a really high visibility always and yeah overall we loved Galapagos a lot and what was your favorite island Ela? Mm, I think my favorite island was Isabella because it's a very authentic island there are less tourists than on the other island for me it's uh, here where we are right now, San Cristobal, because the snorkeling spots are the best for me um, on the Galapagos Islands and overall the beach life uh, next, to, next to the water. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think.